layer cut. Next, I'm going to explain regarding layer cut. Again, I'm going to apply uh, by my template. You can get this template inside the JIT file. Uh, layer cut. So this function is what it is a surface milling, finish mill all, and machining uh, method layer. Okay. And I'm using a constant layer now. This is make sure this is not checked and my vertical step is one and calculate. There you are, the layer cut. From front you can see uh the the cutting is cut by XY, XY and XY and it is constant layer. Uh every layer the pitching is one mm. Okay. The problem of this layer cut is uh, this this constant layer cut is what it unable to uh, properly cut the horizontal area, uh, especially zero to nearly uh, thirty to forty degree uh, horizontal area. Okay, and of course uh, you can see here a lot of jumping. There's a lot of jumping because uh, uh, the setting that we set is climbing. Okay, so if you choose either climbing or convention, uh, uh, the jumping is normal. If you really, really don't want to jump, you can always go for the mix. You can see now there's uh, not much jumping already. And how about the wherever layer? Let's hide this copy. Um, paste. Let's change this wherever layer cut. Let's go to the parameters here. If you want to uh, apply a wherever vertical step, you just on this. And there's one more parameter here. So you need to key in the maximum scale up that uh, you want. So if you I uh, don't know what is maximum scale up. You can also you can press F1 to assess the online help, and from here the picture is showing you what is the scale up. So I will, maybe I'll put on zero uh, zero one the uh, scale up point zero one. Okay, and then maximum downside you can choose to control the maximum downside that is allowed for the copy. So in this case I will put the one um calculate. Okay, so here's the wherever uh, layer from the front you can see the pitching is is different for each layer difference, right? So with this function you're able to uh, cut the horizontal area. Uh, better and of course those area that is a zero degree and the cutting still not good enough so you need to do some uh, machining over here touch up how about the helical cut let me copy this helical cut Okay. Let's look at the uh, layer cut. Layer cut you can see here. Uh, from here, do you see uh, one layer and another layer is actually connected by a, a line, right? Okay. Do you see here a, um, a line, a two D size that line? Connect these two regions. That means this. Okay. So if I change this and change the helical cut, what happened? Okay. Let's see. This is what happened. Okay. So you try to machine by a true helical motions, true helical motions. If, 
like this region there's no no connection between the layer and if you go to the front okay you can see the motion is true helical that's the difference of course for this layer you cannot avoid because this is the open edge so there will be a tangent in and tangent out this is a, a helical cut so in helical cut also you can also uh, have a variable vertical step let me change this Let me change this angle. But change to helical. So same settings on the wherever uh, vertical steps and uh, complete the first and last helical motions and scale up and then you calculate. This is a helical. So the limitation of the helical is actually same as the uh, layer cut. So for the helical, it is a very good for those uh, uh, very high high core or cone shaped part. It is very uh, effective.